All right, here we are to talk about Matlock. And um, this is season three. Now this is, you know, this is an okay show. It's not the greatest, but it's, it's fun to watch. And um, something I would watch Andy Griffith with without going, going back to what was it? The Andy Griffith show, which was in black and white, I believe. Um, I don't go that back, go that far back for TV shows usually. And I don't even know what years they were on. Okay. So, um, luckily there's a guide built into this set, unlike some of the shitty ones. Okay. Let's see. Alright. Disc 2 I was on. The DJ. Madlock or gets taking on the case of the obnoxious radio personality his partner Michelle is dating. The shock jock is accused of killing a rival disc jockey. I thought that was okay, but I'm saying, you know, I've seen a lot of disc jockey episodes and radios. I'm so sick of radio people. But it was an okay episode. It was in, in 1989, it was pretty good. All these episodes are from 89. All from the month of January, too. The Captain. A police captain with a sterling record is in over his head when he tries to match wits with Matlock, who suspects him of being a vigilante. If I'm not mistaken, he was an admiral in Star Trek Voyager. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Like the, you know, someone's a good guy, and then he's a cop that's gone crazy, and he's a killer, and all kinds of other stuff. Still, um, all right. The next one, the vendetta. A man holds Michelle, Julie, and Tyler captive in the office, waiting for Matlock to arrive. Takes forever for him to arrive. The moron guy that crashed the DeLorean, his friend or whatever, that lives next door, showed up to fix the air conditioner. I don't know how he got out of there. If they held him hostage, he would have never made it. Uh, okay, so they try to get him to explain why he holds a grudge against Matlock. So all these at them, the captain and the Vendetta were pretty good. DJ wasn't one of my favorites, though. All right, the mayor part one, which means there's going to be two parts to this, so it's going to be pretty interesting. We always know Matlock wins, just like um, Perry Mason always wins in all different shows with people in it. Um, a brash young reporter in Chicago sends for Matlock. He's convinced the man accused of assassinating the mayor is innocent, but can't prove it on his own. But he'll find out. So that's basically it, you know. I've had a good time doing this, but you know, there are times where I am not fascinated with the show, and the biggest downfall of watching it is the DVD quality is really bad. Um, if you look at it through an angle like this, and the TV's over there, it looks perfect, but if you look directly in front of it, it looks like shit. Um, th this TV just doesn't look, I mean, this not this TV, this show just doesn't look right, and you know, it, they said it was because it was filmed. It was made on film and then put on videotape, so that's why it looks so bad. That's no excuse in my opinion, though. I mean, people pay for these sets at, at, at a good rate. Even back, th back then, they paid even more. They shouldn't have to pay a million bucks. And that's it. Bye-bye.